If I told you about a network that stretches the equivalent of 30 times around the earth with 600 cross-connect switches and yet was owned by a city council, you'd probably think it was time I hung up this microphone and called it a day. But it's quite true. It's owned by Stockholm City Council, it's called Stokab, and its CEO, Staffan Ingvarsson, is sitting right beside me. Staffan, it sounds an incredible network and it started way back in 1994. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for for having me here uh, and uh, being able to talk a bit about Stokab. Yeah, almost 25 years now. Uh, and we've been building a multi-fiber point-to-point uh, network since, since then. Uh, I think we've invested about 500 million euros for the last 24 years into the network. Uh, all on uh, earnings and loans, uh, so we're, we're run like a private company, although we're owned by the city. And what we do is to provide uh, dark fiber for everybody who wants to, to lease it. And that's what we've been doing from the start and that's what we are doing looking forward. So what does that enable? What it has enabled is that we have today in, in my network uh, over 900 customers, 100 service providers and operators. You can lease uh, a fiber pair if you want. You can start with your two empty hands or like an empty fiber pair, so to speak. Uh, so we have a multitude of uh, SMEs coming out in the Stockholm Tech environment that uses this network. We have, of course, a fierce competition uh, looking at the delivery to, to businesses and households. So we have very low uh, prices. You can get, uh, I think the lowest I've seen is you can get uh, one gigabit synchron uh, for as low as about 20 euros a month. Crikey, and I guess really what you've set up makes you ideally place for things like you know 5G, IoT, all these things that are going to descend upon us. Well, we hope so. We have, uh, I think we have created a level playing field. We have created a market uh, for, for the players that are there today. And what we aim to do is to bring that market also to the world of IoT and 5G. We have today four 4G LTE players uh, in Stockholm. Stockholm is not that big. It's about one million inhabitants. And uh, I see uh, it is a great possibility for the 5G players coming in uh, to establish themselves on the Stockholm market because they will not be, uh, they, they, can, they can use the share investment that I have done uh, to provide their services in the future. Okay, well thank you for talking to us. Thank you. So Stockholm, the city in Europe for 5G and IoT? Mm -hmm.